Thanks very much, Chair. Uh, the reports on the EU-Africa summit uh, wouldn't inspire much hope in the thriving relationship between the two blocs going forward. The final text doesn't address the material reality and historic dynamics of EU-Africa relations that have resulted in severe antipathy and distrust of many African countries towards the EU. For example, most of the money promised uh, in investment money is linked to migration. The legal pathways promised in the Valletta summit have not materialised, no matter how terrible the crisis. Instead, we are financing and enforcing containment of Africans in Africa, trampling on human rights often and international law. The text talks about security cooperation and tackling the root causes of instability. But the real causes of instability are the likes of NATO wars, militarization to deal with the same wars, impoverishment that results from exploitation, from criminal trade deals and neoliberal reform packages, land grabs and mineral extraction for peanuts, inaction on climate change, the forced agricultural policies that have destroyed food sovereignty and depleted the land, forced displacement by multinational corporations, transfer, mispricing and tax evasion facilitated by EU tax havens and banking institutions, backing and supporting military dictatorships and pliant leaders that suit us because they never challenge EU interests. These are the real causes of instability. And the crises that result are lost over. I didn't hear any substantial discussion about the dreadful situation in Ethiopia's Tigray region, where millions face humanitarian disaster. Still, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmad met with Macron and Michel, like good old friends, all smiles for cordial photo ops. Some African leaders were less content, letting it be known that shaking hands, smiling and saying thank you isn't going to cut it anymore. As long as we keep pretending that colonialism is over, while we keep up the same structural relationships, we will only see more resistance from the people in many of the areas that the EU tries to operate in. Thank you.